acted on Allegro's suggestion and nationalised the Rockefeller Museum. By then, as we have seen, it was too late. Within the year, the Six-Day War was to erupt and the museum, the scrollery and its contents all passed into Israeli hands. And Israel, as we have noted, was too much in need of international support to risk a head-on confrontation with the Vatican and the Catholic Herorot. Hierarchy, hierarchy. Only four years before, Pope John XXIII had officially and doctrinally exculpated the Jews of any responsibility for Jesus' death and excised all vestiges of anti Semitism from Roman Catholic Canaan law. No one wished to see this sort of conciliatory work undone. By that time, too, Allegro was understandably wary and dis disillusioned with the world of, of professional scholarship. For some time he had been anxious to leave Academia and sustain himself solely, solely as a writer. He was also eager to return to his original chosen field, philology, and had spent some five years working on a book which derived from what he regarded as a major philological breakthrough. The result of his work, his efforts appeared in 1970 as the Sacred Mushroom and the Cross, the work for which Allegro today is most famous and for which he is almost universally dismissed. The argument in the sacred mushroom and the cross rest on complica complicated philological premises, which we, like many other commentators, find difficult to accept. That, however, is incidental Scholars tend all the time to expound their theories based on premises of varying validity and they are usually at worst ignored, not public publicly disgraced, what turned the sacred mushroom and the cross into a scandal were Allegro's conclusions about Jesus in attempting to establish the source of all religious belief and practice Allegro asserted that Jesus had never existed in historical rea reality was merely an image invoked in the physics site under the influence of an hallucination hallucinate hallucinatory drug psilocybin the active ingredient in hallucinogenic mushrooms in effect he argued Christianity like all other religions, stemmed from a species of psy psychedelic experience, a ritualistic rite, the passage promulgated by an orgiastic magic mushroom cult. 
taken separately and placed in a different context, Allegro's conclusions would probably not have provoked the storm they did. Certainly reputable scholars before Allegro had questioned and doubted the existence of an historical Jesus. Some of them, for that matter, still do, though they are in a minority and there is little dispute today that drugs, psychedelic and of other kinds, were used to at least some extent among the religions, cults, sects and mystery schools of the ancient Middle East, as indeed they were and continue to be across the world. It is certainly not co inconceivable that such 